Doing fine, aren't you? Uncle Sid's not going to hurt you, is he? Well, I say that. What are you even doing here? What do you want? This'll be the bit where he acts all innocent. Pretends he don't know what I'm on about. I don't. You've got the wrong guy. I don't know anything about a prison break. Yeah, thought he'd say that. See, I knew I was just a byproduct. It was the Barton boy you lot were after. I asked around. Folk reckoned you and him were bezies. Once I knew you were related to Kane, it all fell into place. Two of you, in it together, were you? So what are you after, then, money? Finally! Not the sharpest tool in the box, are you? I'll be on the run for the rest of my life. It's not a cheap way to live. And I'm not a greedy man. So why don't we call it 100k? That suit you, all right? Hey! Settle down, Bambi. No one's watching. Why'd you call us here then? What you after? Stay away from Sarah. That's why you called me here. Well, it's not for any of that stuff you're offloading. Don't know what you're on about. Leave her alone. She's only 14. Aren't you the good uncle? Looking out for sweet little Sarah. Okay. Okay, what? You leave her alone? Okay, I'm done with this chat. Danny! You better stop messing with her. Or. Or what? Wanna finish what you were gonna say there, Noah? Oh, it's almost touching how protective you are. No need, mate. She can take care of herself. She can't? Then I'll take care of her. No, you won't! <laughs> Getting a bit bored now? <laughs> Stay down! Or I'll squash your face good and proper. Come on, Marlon. Let's get it over with. You know, it'll make you feel better. I don't. I don't believe in settling your differences with your fists. You know, it takes a very zen like calm to walk away from the man who slept with his wife. Or did you always know you were punching? Shut up! He's got nothing more to say to you. So you didn't love her enough to fight for her? I tell you what, mate. I'm having a new car delivered from France tomorrow. I mean, she looks like a classic, but she's not long been built. So she's a smooth drive. How about I take you and those kids of yours out for a spin? Take your mind off your car crash of a life. What are you doing then? Well, we're sitting and you're leaving. If you do it quick enough, I might even let you walk away. But I wonder if the uh, virus is more prevalent in areas with a higher percentage of violent losers. You what? Well, you know, it's just not much social distancing in the world of the Neanderthal posturing, is there? <laughs> anyway, can I get you anything? No. Tea? Coffee? You can get lost. Always nip across the road, get a whiskey. By way of commiseration. Very quiet over there, isn't it? Look, I'm not going to congratulate you on breaking in. I'm sure you could have done that blindfolded. But I will say it was a smart move deleting the text you sent. Not everyone would have thought of that. Needless to say, you're wasting your time. Ah, phone's in my pocket. Audio's running. There you go. Well, look, if you're not going to join me for a drink, then I guess I'll, uh, I'll go home and pack. Got a little impromptu autumn break planned. Gonna sit back, relax, take it easy. Now I know the last of my tracks have been well and truly covered. You're gonna keep that record button pressed on your phone for the rest of your life? Give my love to Belle. Charles is yours. Has it gone? Depends who you mean. Where's Sam? Sam. That'd be the Nobel Prize winner you came in with. That's a good question. Where is Sam? Now one of you gets locked in my trunk. That's unfortunate. Two of you. That looks a bit more like carelessness. You all right? Yeah. Sorry. You're the one who needs to be apologising. Think so? Yeah, he would have just let you walk away from this. Do you really think I would have brought you here 
to let Einstein out if I wasn't prepared. Uh -uh. I wouldn't. I think you'll find that I don't like taking orders either. It's not an order. It's just a suggestion. You like this. We'll be doing the driving, and then we're going to take your car and we're going to go oh. into a ditch. That's where the cops will find you. See that? That is what we call evidence. And I'm pretty sure his nibs will testify against you, which means you are both going down. So why have you been ignored in my calls? Because I can't give you what I've not got. Then you need to put your ideas up. I'm on a losing streak. You just doubled your fee. I've got no money, mate. Then you need to find some. Or start winning again. Otherwise, mate, I might just have to have a little chat with your girlfriend. Mandy, isn't it? And tell her in detail what me and you have been doing for the last few months. You really don't want to do that? I might have to. Are you blackmailing me? Not yet, I'm not. But if you don't come up with some ready soon, then I will be. So get your act together, sharpish. You've got five seconds to get in your van and drive away. We've been here before. One. And it were poor Sam pointing a gun at me then. Two. And it weren't loaded. Three. I'm sorry about what happened, but it's out there now. It can't hurt you anymore. Let's go inside. I need a drink. We both know you're not going to shoot me, Lawrence. I'm not going anywhere. Four. OK, I'm going. You're not going to do out stupid, are you? No. But if you come back, I will. I'll kill you. Liv's got a surprise. It's my birthday, so you can't go mad, OK? Go mad about what? Gabby paid for me to have a tattoo. <laughs> She did what? Where is it? Yeah, it's sweet tight. It's probably, you know, just a tiny little dolphin or... Surprise. <gasps> <laughs> For what? I'm 16. <laughs> Liv, it says skank. Cos that is exactly what you are. A boyfriend thieving skank. Gabby, what have you done? Is this some kind of joke? No, she's the joke. Trying to get off with her best mate's ex and then lying to me about it. Oh, and Jacob, don't flatter yourself. You were probably just an experiment. Gabby, please, don't. Get her out of here now. Yes, come on, Gabby, home now. That's a little cow. No, me! She's supposed to be my mate, but you've stabbed me in the back. Well, now you know what it feels like. You two-faced liar! <laughs> oh, and also... She kissed me. Yeah, what's that about, Liv? Hmm? Come on, home. I told you, them's old bets. I've had that up years. What Liv's doing is this, twisting things. Would you rather believe, eh? Your old dad or some messed up kid you hardly know. She's my girlfriend and she'll tell it in truth. <laughs> she stitched me up because I won't keep quiet about her seizure. Why are you lying still? Oh. Give me the phone and I'll show you. I've seen it all, Dad. Bet she'd placed today, yesterday, last week. Give me the phone. Why did you lie to me? You think it's easy trying to stop? I keep failing because of you, breathing down my neck and not trusting me. I'm just trying to help you. Help me? What, stealing my phone and spying on me? You think you're smart, do you? You think you're better than me? Looking down your nose and waiting for me to fail. You're a gambling addict! All right, admit it and stop being weak! Weak. You think I'm weak? Dad! Ah! 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 Ah!
I may. May? I don't think so. Well, come on, Princess. Now you've got to tell Ethan what the score is. I don't know what you're talking about. That's just three Gs, isn't it? Grasses, guards, and gears. I ate them all. And what's that got to do with me? Did you know you were sharing with the Queen? No way, man. He's got the poster and everything. So how come Blondie were having a grow up? I spotted him, feeling you up on the table. Honest, Jason, I reckon you got it yeah, wrong. You know what? It's fine. So I'm gay. Whatever. Oh, oh. What are you going to do about it? Steady on. I don't want no freak touching me. It's just. It's puffs, they. They maybe want to puke. I've got the same thing with bigots. Funny old world, innit? You're looking for the slap? Try it. Saved by the guards. Don't worry. I'm gonna have you. What's happened to you? Was this all me, or was this from Robert as well? Or your ex, what was his name? Donny? Is this your way of getting your own back on all of us? Oh, believe me, Donny got. See, that's what I mean. That there. That anger, it's not normal. You're preaching to me about anger. Yeah, I am. Take it from someone who knows. You've got serious problems. Well, thank you so much for your concern. There they are. You got anything else you want to get off your chest before they take you away? Only that I meant it. Us. Moving away. Starting again. I meant it when I said I loved you. I loved you, Chrissy. Did you really hate me that much that you had to do this? It's an antique. I don't know. Might be worth a bit. Will you put it down? Please. I want my money. I lost my job. What am I supposed to do? Just because you're my ex doesn't mean you can mess me about. I bet your mum can afford to bail you out. I can't ask her. That's fine. You do whatever you feel comfortable with. I don't care how I get it. Will you please just go? What do you want, Dean? Surely there's another way we could work this out. Seriously? You think that's worth two grand? That's the problem dealing with junkies. They don't appreciate the value of things. I'm clean. For all of three weeks. And only because you haven't been getting any off me. And now you have to pay. I'll get it, I promise. There you are, minding your own business, enjoying your day. And someone comes along and messes you up. Sending your mate round to do this to me. You think I'm just going to take that? Proper hard man you, aren't you, eh? Do you want to find out? Come on, man, get on with it. What are you waiting for? I had an arrangement with Joe Tate. 100 grand to keep Debbie out of it. And I stuck to my side of it. I moved away, didn't mention Debbie once. But that's not good enough for you, is it? Well, you came back. And I'll come back again. 
I've got mates here. I can't have you and your goons messing me up every time I set foot in the place. Then we've got a problem, haven't we? Not if you stay away from me. I kept my mouth shut about your daughter. I don't know why we can't forget it. Do you think Ross can forget it, eh? Or Debbie, for that matter. She never told you to throw acid in his face. You threw in the life. Not this again. It's done, all right? I can't take it back. All I'm asking is for you to stay away, that's all. Just forget you ever met me. Because if you come after me again, then I'm going to come after you and your family, and it won't stop until one of us is dead. Now, do you want that? As long as it's you. Fine. I'll go see what your wife thinks about that. All right, all right. I get it. You want me to leave you alone? Can you do that? As long as you never mention Debbie's name. And I never see or hear from you again. I'm so bored of all this. You won't see me again. I promise. You thought I told you? Whoa, calm down. You'll have someone's eye out with that. Where's Ross? He's not coming. Neither are the photos. It's over. Believe me, love. It's really not. Backup's on its way. You go into prison. And <laughs> so are you. Maybe. If it even makes it to trial. So you reckon you've got enough proof then? I may have struggled before today. But now all I have to do is convince them to look in that safe. Oh, so you looked, did you? you little nosy Parker. So now you know what I'm capable of. What I'm gonna do to you. Your little girl. April, wasn't it? Shut up! Just shut up! You should have also realised is I'm not the sort of bloke who makes a deal like this without my own backup. So, now you've calmed down, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna put that down and you're gonna let me walk away. If I ever have any police knocking on my door, your daughter ends up on a photo like the one you saw today. <laughs> Graham, well right on time. And you brought Charity along with you as well. Enjoy the fun. Excellent. Just as planned. The Bentley's gone and... It was all a bit short notice. But everyone's on schedule too. What is all this? Are you drunk? I don't understand. Jebs, I think he's had this planned for months, all right? She's right. A little arrangement, it's over. Arrangement? What arrangement, Tom? I mean, this isn't some film with an improbable happy ending. Is it, Charity? Only men don't marry hookers, usually. Hookers? I'm sorry, you think you've been sleeping with me in return for a house, a car, a ton of cash, and you still can't see it for what it is? I even put the clothes on your back. He's not who he says he is, OK? And he's not called Tom. It's Joseph Tate. Yeah, you are definitely Chris Tate's son. Just as poisonous. No one you know more about poison than me, wouldn't you? The whore that drove my dad to suicide and got away with it. Until now. to be kidding me. What do you think you're doing? Did you not hear me? Get back in your car and drive away while you still can. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm going. Okay. Off me, you stupid coat! It doesn't concern you! 
Place, wrong time. That's all. No, no, please, my boy. No, no, please. Anyone else here? Yeah, yeah. I've invited all my mates to watch me pay off a known criminal and scumbag. We're alone. What about your dad? Crazy Rishi. <laughs> Crazy Mr. Sharma to you, actually. He's out. Everyone's out, OK? Can we just get on with this, please? I can always change my mind and go. Yeah, that'd solve a problem or two. Is that for me? Yeah. With conditions. You don't ever contact Vanessa again, OK? Or Johnny. <sighs> and you disappear off the face of the earth and you never come back here ever again. Or I just turn you over to the police. Or Kane, whichever's worse. How is she? Oh, you know, she's got cancer. What do you care? I didn't tell him that. Is it bad? Well, cancer's bad, Kieran. She's getting treatment, so... This isn't 15. It's nowhere near. Oh, charming! No, it's what we said. We said 15. No, you said 15! All right, I just got what I could! Yeah, well, it's not enough. You want me gone forever and you try and fob me off with... Do you know what? I forgot what a spoiled little rich kid you actually are. It's not exactly a slap in the face with a wet nappy either, is it? Well, what is it? Six? Six and a half? She's done her best. It's still a lot of money, Kieran. Yeah, not to her. She can always get her hands on more when she wants. Oh, yeah, cos I run a pub and pull pints for a laugh. Okay. What about Vanessa? She's got her shares in the vets, right? That's got to be worth loads. Oh, come on, be realistic, Kieran! She might not need it soon. But that's not charity's money. So ask Vanessa. No. OK. I will. You said she's at her mum's. I know what that is. Don't you even think about then it. Then get the rest! You have till tomorrow. David. Yeah. What are you doing here? I've come to see you. Obviously. Where's Jacob? Doesn't matter where Jacob is. Is he okay? <laughs> How can you stand there and make out that you care whether he's okay or not after what you've done to him? Don't do this, David. Don't do what? Hmm? Speak the truth. Because after all the lies, I think it's about time to wonder. Stop it, please. No, no, no. I won't stop it. You gave up every right to tell me what to do. When you... <sighs> when you started abusing my son. Oh, I've got questions and you're going to answer them. I don't want to hear this. No, 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 no. <laughs> After all the times I stood there and listened to you going on and on, spinning lies about Jacob. Saying one thing, doing another. So, I don't care if you don't want to hear it. Because it's my turn now, and you're going to talk. Come on, Maya. Drop the act, you don't love him. You just came back for the money. You really are clueless, aren't you? You won't get away with this. Not once the police get here. <laughs> yeah. More threats. If you'd really called the police and I get sent down, the minute I'm out, I will find Jacob. And we will go away together. You'll lose him forever. Listen. Let me make you a deal. What? Leave the police out of this and I'll disappear on my own, away from Jacob. Away from here. Let me leave now. And I'll go. For good. You and Jacob will never see me again. Let you go away with it, you mean? I already have. <sighs> Even if the police were involved, they don't have any proof of anything. <sighs> That's right, you keep digging. Oh. Come on, David. 
enough of the threads as if you would tell. Think about it. Everyone would know what's happened. <laughs> you may as well take out a spread in the courier. Local shopkeeper loses girlfriend to teenage son. I mean, how humiliating. You couldn't cope. The embarrassment that would send you under. You have no idea. You're pathetic. Me pathetic. You'll get the rest when you've told your mum. She shows up anywhere near here and you won't see another penny. Nice just doing business with you guys. Admit what you did! Just once. Just once. You know what's scary? I actually think you believe it. I feel sorry for the next blog you do this to. I mean, really, I should hang on for that apology. Don't pick, pick. He's a germ and he's not in your life anymore. Now get the hell out of my house. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? No, no, it really wasn't. Well, sometimes no doesn't mean no, does it? It just adds to it. I mean, is it really rape when they love it as much as your sister did? And I even gave her a nice little souvenir to remember me by. Bye, Uncle Robert. Get up. Get up! Come on! Your sister fought harder than this. You're not walking away from this. <laughs> oh, but I am. I'm 20 grand richer. Baby maker, money maker. I wonder who the next lucky lady's gonna be. <laughs> Where are you going? Chloe, go to the car. No, 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 stay! Charity, I really wouldn't advise this. Uh, ignore her, love. She's either drunk or delusional. Well, not delusional enough to forget about the baby we had. What? I was pregnant. Yeah, but you didn't notice. Because we had no baby scan, no pretty little file with my name on it. Because I was just a piece of meat to you, wasn't I? And that's why I ran away. Because I was going to be showing at some point, wasn't I? And I knew what you'd do. There's no baby. Oh, yeah. I tried that. Denial. I'd already given one kid away. Why would I care about this one? But it's all I had in that room that was mine, that you couldn't take away from me. So I quit the booze pit in my moment. Do you remember? When I pretended to faint, when you smacked me around the head, and then I robbed your keys, tried to report you. That was a joke, wasn't it? You still think she's faking? And he didn't make it, by the way. He never stood a chance. And so I'm here now to find him, because it's evidence, you see. Uh, evidence that you're a very damaged individual. Your lies don't work, so you invent a bit. Not invent. And believe me, I wasn't going to bring him into this. But at least it means there's a point to all of this. If our child gets you put away. I thought it was a mug for letting you get away with it. You should have seen the looks they got. You should have heard the things they said. Being a single dad doesn't justify anything. I got the sack. I gave up my social life. I gave up everything. You didn't have to give up anything. You just didn't have to hurt him. I put him first. He just threw it right back in my face. He robbed my son of his childhood. You did. Because you were heartless and selfish and weak. Let me go. Why? You're gonna have another panic attack. You're gonna hurt me now. I just wanna make you see who's to blame. You're sick. All of this is on you. Is that what you tell yourself, is it? So you can sleep at night? It's the truth. The police won't see it like that. The police won't find any evidence. You just admitted it. Yeah? Prove it. Especially about this. I heard you were dealing drugs again. Came round for a chat, found that. My word against yours, you remember that? I told you, I want a new life. My second chance. I've got a family to look out for now, Dawn and little Lucas. And me and Harriet, we're getting wed. 
You know how is. She's a good woman. Too good for you. Don't take it all away from me. I'm asking you, man to man, I'm, I'm, I'm begging you to please just leave me in peace. You finished. You're pathetic. Do you know that? Hey? Prison turned you soft. I've told you I can't go back there to kill me. But what is it that you want? I'll do anything. Maybe I just want you gone. Maybe your breathing offends me. You know that Kane could be back any second. Is that meant to scare me? Cos your boss is up at his ex's farm looking like a right prat in his overalls. You can't even lie properly. Look at you. You're scared of your own shadow. You'd sell anyone out to save your own skin. But if I'm such a loser, why are you bothering with this? I just thought to take care of business myself this time. You know what? I mean, why pay someone else to do it? When I'd enjoy it so much more seeing you in pain, begging for your miserable little life. You've got my silence. I'm no threat to you, so why don't you just walk away while you still can? Oh, you almost found your backbone then. Look, I don't want any trouble, so don't you push Listen, me. Listen, you should know by now I don't respond well to threats, especially empty ones. It's not. A man can only take so much. Stop kidding yourself. You might be a worm, but you'll never turn. People like you never change. Well, this one has. So get someone else to do your bidding because I'm out. You're out! What I say you are! You know what? I could take what I want from you just like that. You haven't got anything that you want. So just jog on. It's almost tragic, isn't it? That a man can't think of one little thing in his life that another man might want. But what have you got to show for your life, eh? I've got people that I love and people who care about me and that is all that matters. Yeah, that's what all losers tell themselves. But what have you actually got? You've got a woman who put you in jail and a skank for a daughter. Mind you, she'd probably show me a you few tricks. You stay away from her. Dawn's making good just like you I am. Your precious little girl is nothing but a druggie. A two quid whore! She'll be craving a hit soon enough. Be back on the streets. I might as well throw her a few quid for a rap. She's gonna wind up dead anyway. Might as well hurry it along a little bit. You know what you can see me as? You know what I am? I'm your friendly neighborhood policeman. Cleaning up all the scum off the you streets. You anywhere near and I swear. You what? Hey, what are you gonna do? Just like I thought. You haven't got it in. You were trying to kill him, weren't you? A beautiful little boy growing inside of you. Whoa. Oh, come on. You've had three kids. Do you really expect people to believe that you didn't know you were having another? You drank like a fish, worked yourself into the ground because you were trying to get rid of my grandson, weren't you? Weren't you? Oh! You were ignoring him, just hoping that he would go away. And you left Finn to bleed to death in the woods. Shame I didn't shoot Adam. Shame Adam didn't shoot you first. Adam, your precious little love child. Infertile. Thick as two short planks. Oh, God really knew what he was doing there. But then, all of your kids are failures, aren't they? I think you want to show up now. I mean, there's Hannah. She went away and never came back, and then Holly... Don't even say her name! Oh, well, what should we call her, then? The druggie? Someone else you ignored. Emma. Cain tells you that she won't stop using, but you don't listen. You knew that he was right deep down. But it was just easier to pretend that it wasn't happening, wasn't it? I'm not doing this. Imagine if you'd paid attention and actually noticed that there was something wrong with Holly the day that she died. If you'd just put that cup of tea down and cared enough to pull back the covers, she'd still be alive now, wouldn't she? <laughs> you could have saved her, Moira, but you walked out, <laughs> left her to die, all on her own, with nobody there. And you knew that when you found her, didn't you? Lying there, cold. You knew that you you. You might as well have injected the hair yourself. How? Found me at my bed, sit. Why? Knew I was out. I thought he was from probation. That changed after he assaulted me. He was relentless, Rona. 
He only stopped after I pretended to be unconscious. He gave me no choice. How could I stay away after that? I saw everything. I, I knew that you didn't want to leave with him. Not deep down. So I helped you. <sighs> Leo's passport. Yeah, uh, simple, if not permanent solution. That came later. I watched him. He was cruel. He may have appeared kind to you, but to everyone else, despicable. He told me that he'd killed people who'd done less than me, and he seemed proud of it. Then what happened? I drove him off the bridge. Oh my God. It's called the Free oh Marlon page. It's like it's a, a live stream. We can't really tell. Can you not trace it? You know, this, this, this could sound mad, but it, it it looks like Laurel's kitchen. You're right, it does. Uh, there's, a, there's a chance it could be uh, Mulberry, Mulberry Cottage. Mulberry Cottage, it's on the main street in Emmerdale. Did he suffer? Well, I suppose he lived a little, but the end was quick. I smashed his head in with a torch. Is that what you did to Vanessa? Johnny and Kim, did you kill them too? Get out. OK, look, I got halfway home and I kicked myself, right, because everything you said to me before, it was true. The offer's not on the table anymore. Stop it, Declan. Please, just give me the can, yeah? Just give me the can, all right? Just give me the can, just give me the can, just give me the can! All right, listen to me! You are right, I am a user. But I wasn't using you tonight because I wanted your company because you get it, all right? You get me. And because I needed someone. Who are you? You're doing this because you think there's no way out. Declan, listen to me. There is always a way out. Yeah. This is it. If you set fire to the house, they're going to know it's you. Come on, it's just money, all right? Just go bankrupt, take the hit. Start again. It's not about the money. <gasps> you know, I spoke to Jimmy earlier. This place is cursed. His father died here. You know, and it got me thinking, is there any family whose lives haven't been ruined here? Stay in the house! Mia died coming back here. My marriage no. died here. My business Stop died it, here. Off. This house is sick. It needs levelling. You know, I've tried my best to save it, but it's too late. You need to leave now. You don't mean it. I mean it. Right. So here's what's going to happen. We are going to delete any photos from this and whatever flaming cloud you back up on. Then we're going to stage a break in at your gaff and get rid of any device with a hard drive or Wi Fi connection. Got it? We just still never know if you've got them all. Yeah, you're right. Which is why I'm going to show you what is going to happen if Moira ever sees one of them photos. Well, give me the cord. Well, seeing as you're going to beat me up anyway, I think I'll keep that to myself, mate. I was hoping he was going to say that. Because it would have been dead boring if you just blurted out the cord, wouldn't it? <laughs> Aaron, wait outside. Reckon we've got a screamer here. No, you're full of it. You are. Robert, just shut up and do what he says. No, 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 let him speak. Go on. You've changed, and everyone knows it. Maybe beating someone up who can't fight back something you've done in the past, but not now. You're cleverer than that now. So how about this? You untie me, right now, and we both walk away. You can forget about the blackmail, you can forget about the photos. We live with the stalemate.
died three eight four. And again? I died three eight four. Nine three eight four. Oh, yeah. very good. I could kill you for this. I could kill you. Not if I kill you first, sunshine. Kane, that's enough! We called Andy and he's on his way. You've done what? This isn't right. We'll call him back. Tell him you made a mistake. No. No. Look, if he's blackmailing you and you go into all this trouble, well, he must have something big on you. So you either let him go or I'm going to tell Myra something that's up. You what? You heard. Myra, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> I'm doing this for you, making sure you don't go too far. We let him go and we, we just forget about the whole thing. You keep the phone and the black man is stopped, right? Right, yeah. Yeah? It's not gonna work. Run! Ah! 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 Oh, you're always warning me, Cameron. <laughs> Put that down, we both know you're not going to do anything. Don't bank on it. I am. Shall I tell you why? A few years ago, I sat down with our Jimmy after Matthew died, and I told him I thought I was cursed. But I'm not. I'm charmed. Bad things happen to people around me, and I walk away untouched and get away with it. I've done it before, and I'm going to do it again to you this time. And there is nothing you can do to stop me, and I'll tell you why that is as well, shall I? Because I'm indestructible! <laughs> I don't understand why people keep interfering. It's our life, Belle. It's our business. You know, but everyone has to have a say in everything we do. Please stop shouting. What? I'm not shouting at you. Why would I do that? Look, you said that you'd let us get some help. Please, let's just ring an ambulance <sighs> now. How many times do I have to tell you? I'll call them once we've left. But right now, I need time to think. But let's start thinking now, Lockie. Don't call me that. Well, it's what you need, isn't it? A bit of luck. Because <laughs> you certainly don't have much time. Sure. They'll be here soon, the police. I rang them. You're lying. Well, feel free to take that chance. Did he call them? Bell? I don't know, Lachlan, but can we just please stop all of this now? Just listen to her, mate. We can sort this. Tell me what happened with this... Tozer bloke. It was... was it an accident? It must have been. You're a good kid. What? All you've ever done is screw things up for me. Everything. It all comes back to you. You've had a rough time, Lucky, I know. And I'll tell them, the police. Hey, I'll come with you. We're not going anywhere. And nobody's coming. You don't scare me, Lachlan. This is me, remember? I do. I do remember. This is me, Robert. And I'll kill you. Only unlike the others, I'll actually enjoy this one. What others? Didn't I tell you to shut up? Who else, Lachlan? Doesn't matter. It does if you're dead. Yeah, well, some people are like cockroaches, aren't they? Just refuse to die. Like me, you mean? Oh, yeah, because everything's always about the, the mighty Robert Sugden. Liv was right about the carbon monoxide poison. It was you, wasn't it? Please, no. Well, you're still here, aren't you? But why would you do that? I mean, what about Seb? Well, he wasn't in, obviously. Look, none of this would have happened if it wasn't for Liv. She's an interfering bitch. 
What? You mean those texts she sent you? Yeah. Yeah. But I thought they were Tozer. Making me think he knew about Jerry. But the stupid cow wasn't even on about that, was she? Liv tricked me into doing it. What's Jerry got to do with any of this? And what did he think Tozer knew? The roof. It wasn't just an accident, was it? Lachlan, no. No, come on, he was our friend. You don't understand. No, you didn't kill him, though, did you? I had no choice. Lachlan, no. Why, Jerry? Jerry was our friend. Why, you Jerry? You should stop crying. Jerry was our friend. Why? Shut up! <laughs> Sean, just, just put that down. Huh? Well, that's not going to happen, Zach. And if you take one step closer, I'm going to be pulling both triggers. Yeah, it's your gun, mate. So you know what happens when you pull both triggers, yeah? You're a big man, but you're not big enough to stop both barrels at this distance. Now get back! Zach, don't be an idiot. Zach, don't. Debbie. Come here. No, you stay away from her. Debbie. Now. You stay away from us! What are you doing here? Shut up. You don't get to talk to me, huh? Debbie, come on, now. You should have kept on running. Well, why would I do that when you're here? Come on, we've got to go and talk. I am going nowhere with you! Debbie. I hate you. No, you don't, no, you don't. You just think you do because of her. I hate you! Snap. You lot, over there! Now, move! Down, All right, mate, calm down. Move! Move! In the corner! Slam! No! Shut the curtains! Shut the curtains! Move! Now! Shut the curtains! Move! 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 Oh, finally, my car has arrived. Ah, a welcome home party. How lovely. You really shouldn't have, Graham. Who are you? Me. <laughs> I own the place. I'm sorry, who is this woman? Kim Tate. Yeah, and you don't mess with her. So she's Joe's mum? That's his step actually. I know, I don't look it. Nice dress, hun. Yeah, and she was supposed to be getting married today. But he's done a disappearing act. Hmm. So you're Debbie. Let's go inside, shall we? Where is Joe? Down a bunk, darling. Excuse me? What are you talking about? You obviously don't know the spoilt brat as well as I do. Inside now. I did, 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 did. I'd just like to say that the auction is officially over. It's time to celebrate my homecoming. And you're all my guests. So please, do come inside. Cheers, everybody. We are supposed to be getting married right now. Marriage was never an option, and he knew that. What's this got to do with you? He loves me, and we are getting married. Look, sweetheart, the only person Joe really loves is himself. Fact. So just accept it, all right? No, I won't accept it, because none of this makes any sense. He wouldn't just up sticks anyway, because he couldn't, because everything he owns is here. He owns nothing. Not even the suit on his back. You did get it off him before he uh, left. I'm a it too. Joe's my brother, but he never mentioned you. Oh. You must be Noah. Yeah? Well, I'm sorry to break this to you, kid, but you won't be seeing your brother again. I wouldn't get too upset. He never really cared for you much anyway. I mean, why would he? You're half dingle. And with Chris Tate as a father, well, let's just say the odds are severely stacked against you. You your oh. mouth! You're a nasty piece of work, aren't you? And you are? Vanessa Woodfield, local vet. And my girlfriend, so watch your tongue. I don't take orders from an ex-prostitute. Enough. I mean it. So who are you then, Mr. Suave? For real? 
He was supposed to be keeping Joe in line. However, he didn't do a very good job of it. Seeing as the little runt tried to rip me off. You can give me the keys to that car now, thank you. I don't think so. Uh, leave it, Faith. You don't know who you're dealing with. I don't care either. You'd be 20 grand for that car. Which is well short of what it's worth. So take a hike, Granny. And while you're at it, tell the rest of the clan to keep it down, will you? Especially that snivelling little wretch in the corner. She's spoiling the mood. No, stop it, Charity! Hey, don't be a I fool. am gonna have you! If I get there first, hon. Someone better watch the back then, eh? Well done. You've somehow managed to alienate most of the village. Good. May as well start as I mean to go on. Please try not to upset anyone else. <laughs>